What's up guys, it's Mr. Bringle, and today I'm going to be going over uh, some energy transformation stuff, uh, more specifically talking about energy bar charts and pie charts, and how those could be useful to us. And this will also help you with the what's up and down with kinetic and potential energy concept builder. So uh, first I just have this pendulum here and it's swinging back and forth with no friction so it's always going back to the same place each time. And I just want to talk about the types of energy that are involved with this, right? So uh, when, the, uh, when the pendulum is up here at its highest point, it's at its peak. So um, for just a brief moment, it's not moving, right? So and I release it from here. So right now all of this is just stored potential energy. Now as this starts to move, that potential energy is being transferred into kinetic energy because now it's moving, right? Well, when that pendulum hits that midpoint right there, it goes from up here to the midpoint. That's the lowest point on its arc. So that's where it's going to have the least amount of potential energy, none, and the most kinetic energy because it will be moving fastest down there at the bottom. Then it's going to continue back up and that kinetic energy is going to be transferred back into potential energy as it goes back up and gets to the peak on the other side. Okay, so we're going from potential to kinetic. It's all kinetic at the bottom and then it goes back to potential as it goes back up to the top. All right, now we have these energy graphs here that show this really well. I'm gonna show it to you normal first and you can see how these things are changing. Well, what this is, is you've got your total energy over here on the far right. Okay, it's, notice that, that never the top of that never changes. It's always at the same value. And then it's showing you the differing amounts of kinetic and potential energy as this thing moves. So if I switch and go to slow, you can see that when it gets to the bottom, it's all kinetic energy and that's equal to the total amount of energy. And then as it goes up to the top, you see that potential energy increasing until we get to the top where it is no longer moving and we have all potential energy and that is now equal to the total. So the point here on these energy bar charts is that your total energy will never change, right? Because energy is conserved. It's just transferred from one type to another. So whatever types of energy that are present, and in this case, it's only kinetic and potential, these two bars right here between these two have to add up to the total. So it doesn't matter where I stop this thing. When we add these two bars together for kinetic and potential energy, they have to add up to the total. And you can see that they do that here on the total bar here. They're showing you how much of it is kinetic and how much is potential as it moves. And we can see all, all kinetic there and it's about halfway right there and then all potential there, okay? So um, these these bar charts are super helpful for us and um, I think that this is a, a good demonstration of transfer of energy. So uh, if you wanna play around with this, I will link this on Canvas. Now the next thing would be the energy skate park and I've got this guy set up here and he's going back and forth and I have this set up to not have friction, okay? Because if there was friction, this would behave differently. So we're talking about a perfect system here and um, I wanna go ahead and show you those, by, those bar charts again. You can see they have the total amount of energy over here in gold and then your kinetic is in green and potential is in blue and once again you can see that when the skater gets to the bottom of the hill that's when he's moving fastest so we have all kinetic energy and then when he's moving up we're gaining potential and he eventually stops and he hangs there right at the top for a second and that's all potential and no kinetic okay but once again these two bars are always going to add up to the total amount here when you add these two together Okay, now uh, the next thing I'd like to show you is just a different way to show this, which is the pie chart, okay? So I'm gonna put the skater back up at the top and you can see that blue is for potential energy. So he has all potential right now and green is for kinetic. Thermal would be included if we had friction, which I have turned off right now. So I'm gonna let this guy go and we're gonna see that this pie chart is going from blue to green as he goes to the bottom and then back uh, from green to blue as he goes back to the top there. So we're losing potential and gaining kinetic. We're losing kinetic and gaining potential as he goes up. Okay, so same thing, just a different way of showing it. 
Now, what I wanna show you is how does friction affect things? So if we do the same thing, I'm just gonna put them on here and I'm gonna let them go. I'm gonna release them from the top. Notice that on the last one, he went down and he went back up all the way to the same spot and then he kept coming this way and got back to the same spot. So we're just gonna drop them and, and let's watch what happens here. So he didn't make it up to the top. He didn't make it up to the top. In fact, he's going lower and lower each time. And you guys probably know that, you know, this is more realistic in terms of real life Friction slows things down, okay? So now let's go back and look at these bar charts and the pie charts with the friction involved, okay? So I'm gonna put this in slow motion here for you. Um, we've all we've got all potential right now, and, and uh, you know, on our last example, it was all kinetic at the bottom, okay? Now, as we go, uh, notice that the thermal energy over here is starting to increase. So there's friction between the wheels and the ramp here, and uh, as long as he's rolling on it, he's going to be generating uh, thermal energy via friction. So that bar will constantly be increasing. So take a second and predict to yourself, when he gets to the point where he stopped, what are these bars going to look like? What's, how much kinetic, how much potential, how much thermal energy is there going to be? So we'll let him go back and forth here. I'm going to go back to normal, but you can see this thermal is continually increasing, increasing, increasing. These bars are still going up and down, but now what we have to consider is that when we add all three of these bars up, they must be equal to the total, okay? Now that thermal energy is part of the picture. So let's go ahead and speed this up and see what happens. So that thermal energy continues to increase. These bars are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and eventually what we're gonna see is that that person stops because of friction, and then there's just only thermal energy, right? That's the only thing. We've generated a bunch of heat because of friction, and that is ultimately what stopped that person, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and look at this again with the pie chart now. So we'll just kind of let them go, and we'll see that this pie chart, that red slice is getting larger and larger each time. And we're going back and forth. Whatever's left is for the kinetic and potential. And we just keep generating friction and thermal energy until the guy finally stops. Okay. So, um, again, I'll link this for you guys because I think that um, this one's actually kind of fun. You can actually go down here and click on the playground, which is this right here. And I've made a little, uh, you know, loop de doop for our skater here. It's pretty intense. He starts upside down and he launches, turns right side up and then comes off this thing and does it. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Well, anyway, if you guys would like to play around with this and make a sweet skate park, send me a screenshot of it. Send me a canvas message with a screenshot of it. That would be cool. I'd love to see that. All right. A little bit on energy transformation. Hopefully this helps you with uh, your what's up and what's down with kinetic and potential energy concept builder as well.